So hi everyone, my name is Lisa Schill and I'm um, a parent advocate, first and foremost. My child has a rare disease and I got involved with Global Genes when I realized that there wasn't very much information out there for those who have rare diseases. Um, there's a lot of challenges we face. We need to learn how to live with a rare disease and not be defined by it. So um, Global Genes was created. Um, the founder, Nicole Boyce, when her friend's child was diagnosed with a rare disease because she found the same thing. And it doesn't matter what disease you have, um, a lot of us go through the same feelings of isolation and feeling alone and not having resources available. So how can we take what's out there and put it all in one place and get everybody in the community talking about it? Get patients, get foundations, get the government, and get industry to all work together to eliminate the challenges of rare disease. So that's our mission, to eliminate the challenges of rare disease globally. And how do we do that? We educate and we build awareness, we collaborate and we empower, and we foster innovation. So what is a rare disease? How do you know that your disease is rare when you're diagnosed with one? There are 7,000 rare diseases. One in 10 of us actually has a rare disease. And when you really think about that, one in 10, one in 10 of your neighbors is struggling with a rare disease, finding the right resources, finding the right tools. You know, how do you talk to your, your family members about dealing with a rare disease? How do you talk to your, where you work, your child's school, all these things. And if we all come together, we can communicate with each other what are the best practices. 30 million Americans have a rare disease. That's 350 worldwide. It impacts, impacts more people than cancer and AIDS combined. And 95% of rare diseases do not have a treatment. So what is considered rare? Less than 200,000 people in the US. And on average, it takes a rare disease patient eight years to get a diagnosis, an accurate diagnosis, diagnosis and after seeing 10 specialists. And approximately 50% of these don't have an organization to call their own. So we have come together to sort of create that no matter what your rare disease is. And we have done that by creating you know, rare, rare toolkits. There isn't a book, how do I navigate my life with a rare disease? What do I do? How do I face these challenges? So we've created different toolkits, webinars that you can watch online. We have meetups where we get patient groups together and we actually have a little online rare daily newspaper. We also host community events. We have a patient advocacy summit that's held every year in Huntington Beach, California, and another one in the UK to bring together all kinds of patients and patient advocates to talk about the latest research and what we can do to all work together. We also have World Rare Disease Day that we all come together to unify as one and advocate to the rest of the world that we need more treatments and more cures and more help for all of us. So these rare toolkits are toolkits on resources that we've pulled all together. Um, talking with other patient advocacy organizations, talking with other researchers, doctors, clinicians, the government on genetic testing. Is this my path to diagnosis? How do you tell your story to other people? What can you do to um, get more treatments and more cures with legislation? and taking control, gaining independence as a young adult. These are just some of the topics. There's more topics online, and the online versions have little videos, and we realize that they're fluid and this information changes over time, so we update it on a regular basis. We also hold rare webinars, and you can sign up for them online, and even if you miss the date that the topic's covered, they'll send you an email with a link so you can watch it on your own time. It's also um, put up on our website. So we have one on how to discuss genetic disease with your loved ones. It's really hard, right, when you're diagnosed with something that you can hardly pronounce. So how do I explain to people what it is? And how do I explain it in a way that it doesn't take me two hours and in a way that's easy to explain? Leveraging a rare disease center for excellence. There's 7,000 rare diseases, and even though we would love for every doctor to be knowledgeable and an expert on every single one of them, that's not the case. So what can we do to get the best information about our disease and the most reliable information about our disease? How to optimize your loved one's learning and potential at school. Um, learning to research your rare disease. There's a lot of websites out there. When you Google a name, lots of information comes up. How do you know 
what is recent? How do you know what was from a long time ago? How do you know what research you should pay attention to and what research you should dismiss? And that is a good tool to have, right? So you can know how to empower yourself. And then we also have one coming up on December 9th on Planning Your Rare Disease Day of 2016 events. So Rare Daily is a newspaper online that you can learn all about the challenges of rare diseases and what we're doing to change that. And we have information on policy innovation, but my favorite part are the patient stories. And feel free, if you feel like you've learned something from your disease, to submit a story to us and we'll put it online about how did you tackle some of these challenges? How did you tackle dealing with this disease when nobody had any information for you on it? And, and how can you help somebody else with your story? We also have um, rare disease events and community events up online, so if you'd like to join with those as well. And then we've also created the Blue Denim Jeans Ribbon. And this ribbon is to unify all of us with hope, because no matter what, we all have hope. And you always have to remember that in your deepest, darkest time, that we're all here for one another. We all have had these struggles. So um, we've created this Global Jeans Ribbon, and we chose genes because no single genes is alike, and genes for genes. So it is, um, it is something really neat to see when you're walking down the street and you see someone with a ribbon. It's almost like you think breast cancer, what color do you think? You think pink, right? You think heart disease, what color do you think? You think red. Well, we want everybody, when they see that denim ri ribbon, to think rare disease. And if one in 10 of us are suffering, then we should be hearing that more and more, and people can understand what you're going through and be there for you. So what is World Rare Disease Day? It's a day that we come to bring awareness to the rest of the world about rare disease. It's the last day of February, um, February 29th, February 28th, February 29th in a leap year. Um, and you can do different events to, to raise awareness for your rare disease, specifically your own rare diseases or rare disease in general. Some of the fun things that we have done is create a little um, picture that you can put your picture in to put online. I love someone who is rare. Um, you can create jeans, decorate jeans with all different kinds of decorations and get the schools involved. And it, it's not even just about you can get your office involved and do a dress down day and all wear jeans. You know, it's, it's really to raise awareness about these different diseases and how we are all different, but we can come together and be one society. And that's it with um, information about Global Genes. Does anyone have any questions about Global Genes? No? No? Okay. Well, now we're going to head next door just to pick up our lunch, and we'll come back in here and, and have a nice lunch. So thank you.